All right, hi everyone. So this week I wanna talk about protein. I brought it up in the first video I made about how protein was really important to have, especially as your first meal of the day coming out of a fast. Um, so let's go into it. I listened to Dr. Hyman mostly. Um, he had a guest on his show, Dr. Gabrielle Lyons. She is actually an expert in nutrition sciences. She came out of Wash U with her PhD. She's a doctor as well. And she uh, focuses on protein um, and muscles and how that is so important to our lives. And we don't talk about it enough. She has a book coming out in September. She has a website, um, some interesting articles as well in her research. And so I'm gonna put that in the comments also. So let's talk about it. Um, so protein um, is an important part of your muscles. It's gonna help build skeletal muscles, especially. And that's about 30 to 40% of your body has skeletal muscles. Those are the muscles that hold bones together. Um, we use muscle um, as a way to um, decrease uh, insulin, utilize the glucose in our bodies. Um, it helps us age. It helps us create metabolism. So as you get older though, that muscle um, that you build actually decreases after the, about the age of 40, you start to lose about 3% of your muscle and you'll continue to lose 3% every 10 years. So it's very important um, to keep up your protein so that you can help build muscle and sustain what your body needs to, to age appropriately so that you're living a long and healthy life um, so typically you need about one and a half to two grams of protein a day. Um, studies kind of vary between that and about 1.2 to 1.8. So it just depends. Um, I would gear on the, I gear 1.5 for me personally. Um, it is hard to eat that much protein sometimes. So I'm going to also list in the comments foods that are high in protein, um, kind of like, a an idea of what maybe I would eat to kind of give you guys uh, kind of a kickstart. So um, one gram of protein is about one ounce of meat. So if you can, if that helps, so if you can eat um, seven ounces of chicken, then you have seven grams of protein. Um, you can add whey powder into different things. Um, you can cook with certain oils to kind of increase some protein and high fats. Um, Grass-fed beef, pork is going to be your best way of getting that good protein that you need uh, with not an extra lot of carbs and fats and additives that just not healthy for your body. Free-range chickens, um, fish, things like that are what you're looking for when you're buying food, uh, meats, I should say. Um, you want to look at um, doing about three to four uh, days a week of resistant exercise. So that's weightlifting, bands, um, water aerobics is a good resistant. Um, and then you want to try and walk about 20 to 30 minutes a day. And what is sounds to be like the best way with other thing that I've read is that you do that right after dinner. That helps keep things moving, keeps your gut moving, um, which is really important, which is another thing that we're going to talk about is your gut health. Um, that actually might be a couple episodes, but this is really important that after you eat dinner, that you go and move for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, some foods that um, or ways that you can think about foods on your plate whenever you're eating is um, the palm of your hand should be about the size of your protein so per meal. So that can kind of help give an idea. Um, a fist is about the size of what's going to be on your plate for a vegetable. Um, a hand cupped is going to be all your other carbs and your thumb is going to be how many fats you get. So with that being said, there's a lot of different ways that you can obtain those kind of meals. And she actually hasn't broke down really well in the food um, program that she kind of has in a PDF file. Again, I'm going to put that on the link below. Um, but for example, um, we talked about protein as far as meats goes. Um, you want to talk about other carbs is going to be um, typically about 40 carbs, uh, 30 protein and 30 fat. Um, that's proteins, um, fats, going to be eggs, chicken, beef, pork, fish, avocados, um, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, uh, olives, uh, using extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil, 
um, using um, clarified butter or ghee butter. <clears throat> Some other ones that are um, polyunsaturated fats is going to be your almonds, almond butter, uh, Brazil nuts, cashews, pecans, uh, pistachios. And then you're going to have your um, carbs that are non-starch. That's going to be your artichokes, um, broccoli, cauliflower, celery, ginger, cucumbers, Brussels sprouts, onions, um, peppers, mushrooms, cabbage, zucchini. And then you're going to have your carb starches, which is going to be your squashes, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, beans, berries, melons like uh, honeydew or coke. Uh, cantaloupe, kiwis, grapes, um, brown rice, uh, oats, those are all going to be your carb starches. So keeping that in mind, again, I'm going to put those below, but those are some meals that you, for foods that you can use for meals. And um, I think I'm going to try and make a couple of meals that I typically eat for high protein in the morning, um, just to kind of give you an idea. And then also posting some, I'm hoping I can figure out how to post some actual um, pictures or links to maybe some foods that you could recipes that you could make at home for dinners um, and hopefully that can help open up some ideas I know some people I've talked to are making meals already with good proteins in them um, but again coming out of a fast you want to start with 30 to 50 grams of carbs out the door in the morning um, your subsequent meals are going to be your lunch and your dinner and try not to snack in between um, without going into too much detail it kind of breaks up that ability of your body to um, regulate the nutrition that you're processing so when you're consuming more food so if you can try not to snack in between meals that's best um, sticking to that three meals a day if possible when you're eating your lunches and your dinners um, probably because we're all under protein most likely you're going to need to stick with that protein first thing then your vegetables then your your carbs um but if you're getting enough protein throughout your meal your lunch and your dinner could be your vegetables and then your protein then your carbs you could eat it that way too um protein is going to help fill you up it's going to help keep your metabolizing going you're not going to be hungry at three in the afternoon for a snack, for a sugary snack, because you're tired and you need energy. So really, protein is very important. I, I wish I could go into a lot more detail, but um, the terms and the analogies, I'm just now learning and figuring out on my own. So this is kind of simplified so that I can help explain it to you guys so that you can actually put it into practice and be successful. So I hope that helps. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have similar things. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I mean, for the most part, this is all friends and family, so you should have my number. Uh, and good luck.